Hello everyone, God bless you. I pray that you are doing well today. Um, so I wanted to talk about a dream that I had and this was, I had this dream a while ago. I can't remember specifically when I had this dream. But I want to say it may have been last year or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but I never forgot it and God had brought it back to my remembrance. So I just want to share it because um, it's very interesting to me and I think it really speaks <laughs> truth in, in, in what is going on currently today in our world. Okay, so I was in my hometown, right? Like in one of um, one of the houses that I grew up in when I was younger. And in the house, I remember going up the steps the side door steps into the house and inside the house it was it was it wasn't set up like normally the house like how our house looked um but it was it was like um a church a, a church it was it turned into a church thing okay and there was a um, a uh, gospel singer, a well-known gospel singer. I won't mention her name, but she was singing, right? And the people who were um, watching and listening to her sing, they were like being like they were like skeptics. Like they were, they weren't praising the Lord. They weren't into the worship or anything it was more like a show and and um yeah they were just watching they were just watching and observing observing her seeing you know it wasn't really any it was very cold it was very it just didn't seem like the house of God and, and now that I think about it it was it was a house but I guess you can say that it represents like it's supposed to be the house of God right um but inside it you know was set up it was just you know like a like a stage and people were just sitting around looking at her sing and yeah you know, they were just looking at her singing. And that was that. And I was like, okay, you know, okay, you know. And so um, after that, I went outside. And when I went outside, there were people out there. And they were zombies. It, it, it was like. Outside it was zombies. Like it, it, I, I never had a dream about zombies before, but there are zombies outside, and that could mean other multiple things, honestly. But for this dream in particular, I know it was prophetic because okay, inside, inside the house, you know, it was supposed to be like church, right? But outside. It was people were zombies like it, it, it was it was completely like opposite it was completely opposite of what was going on in the house it was like but when you stepped outside there were zombies walking around and they were they were just completely just out of touch out of out of reality out of their mind and I was just so amazed like I can't even think of the words when I seen it but it was just really hard 
it, it hurt my heart to see that. It really hurt my heart to see that. And I'm like, okay, so they're in church, but 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 outside people are zombies. And it's like they're acting like ain't nothing going on outside. Like they're just acting like completely ob oblivious to what's actually going on in the world outside of church. And people are dying. They're suffering. You know, they're spiritually dead. But the church is just. The people in the church are just are just amongst themselves doing what they do. You know, and it's not even um, real love going on. It, it, it wasn't real love. The spirit wasn't there. They weren't worshiping. They weren't worshiping God. <clears throat> they weren't even fellowshipping in a loving way. You know, they were being skeptics and, you know, messy. And it was just real. It was a real nasty vibe in there, you know, and God wasn't in there. It's supposed to be the house of God, but there was no fruit there, you know. And outside, people needed to be delivered. There were liter there were zombies, spiritually dead zombies, that needed to be delivered. And I'm, I'm saying like, do they not know that this is going on out here? You know, like this is crazy. And man, so basically, um that's what I got from it like after I woke up it's like a lot of people in church <clears throat> in in um, a lot of different churches and a lot of different denominations they're all about them they're all about um, their group you know because it's like when it comes down to it it's like different cliques you know and every clique has a somebody over it like you know the the one everyone wants to suck up to to get their approval you know so usually a leader or a, a wolf you know what i'm saying um and and people aren't really trying to have a relationship with god they're trying to have <clears throat> a relationship with their leader you know and um there is a lot of um competition and uh coveting you know which we shouldn't do so yeah you know um that's going on but the true deliverance what jesus taught his disciples to do to go out in the world to preach to heal the sick to lay hands on the dead you know to um cast out demons right this that was the ministry that was the ministry and jesus was there were specific times when he was in the synagogues preaching but other than that he was actually evangelizing he was he was going out to reach people you know and that's what makes a, a real follower of christ different than the counterfeit like the real follower is going to um, the Bible says a, a, a wise person wins souls. So that's what um, a, a real follower does. They try to win souls. They want they want people to know and experience Jesus um, the real way and not through religion and uh, this this fake clicked up um, organizational corporate religion. OK, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Um, because that's, that really, I, I can tell that was, that was God because that's really what's going on in a lot of churches. You know, the world is getting worse because, um, the Bible says the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. So that means, um, there aren't a lot of, a lot of people trying to win souls for Christ, like for real, the real way what the disciples got murdered for doing, okay? It wasn't because they were trying to, uh, they were just, you know, singing hallelujah and, you know, in their own little world in um, the synagogues or wherever and, and, you know, and just trying to mind their own business, you know? They were actually 
uh, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, you know, no servant is better than the master. So if they hated Jesus, they're going to hate us too, you know. So that, that that's the real work. That's the real work. Okay. Um, and that's not what's going on. That's not what's going on. It's a lot of religious people. It's a lot of fake gospel doctrines out there. Um, the truth is in the word of God. The truth is the Bible period. And if, 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 if someone who is supposed to be claiming to be coming in the name of Jesus Christ, if they're not, um, if they're not, uh, reiterating the words of Jesus that they're not if what they're saying doesn't line up with what the Bible says then it is a lie they they're counterfeit period okay so that's what we have to um always we have to always remember that as believers like we can't just take what people say and just be like oh okay like that's why we have to read our words and um and and study to show ourselves approved because you will be um it, it'll be so easy to be deceived because you don't have any um doctrine you have nothing to stand on you're not standing on the word of god and on the truth of god so yeah um i just wanted to share that dream with you so um yep i pray that this touches you and until next time be blessed